Alright, one other thing we're going to take a look at with our WAMP server now is to take a look at how WAMP server actually plays around with the uh, the firewall uh, setup. So, that is how can we actually see our WAMP server from other computers. So, our WAMP server is going. Let's just take a quick look. It says to put online. So, right now it's in um, offline mode. So, one thing I'm going to need to know, again, is going to be what my IP address is. Uh, in this case it's 192.168.0.106 so if I want to take a look at my server setup um, it obviously works with localhost when I try to go to 192.168.1.106 I get this forbidden rule now that means I can get to the server, but the server is saying that I'm not allowed to have access. So uh, I'm just going to put things online for a second. And now, when I refresh here, I will see my WAMP server. At this point in time, assuming my firewall allows it, um, I'll be able to see this server from the rest of my network. And possibly from the rest of the world. When I go to 192.168.1.106, um, it's going to time out on me because right now my firewall is actually turned on on my virtual machine, um, and the uh, the browser that you see in front of you right now that's on my desktop. It's not able to get to the virtual machine because of this firewall issue, so it's going to time out on me. If I come back to my virtual machine for a second and I change my firewall settings just for a second, I'm going to turn it off. So the firewall's off and Windows is angry with me because I turned the firewall off. But if I refresh my page over here now, you'll see that I do indeed have access to the exact same uh, web server as I do over here. See, my folder, test folder, my folder, test folder everything else is all set up the same as well so at this point we're going okay well the firewall was what was blocking me so I'm going to come in and just turn the firewall back on for a second just to make sure so we turn the firewall back on We say okay and I refresh over here and now I'm going to time out again and again the reason I'm timing out is the firewall has me blocked so what I need to do is I need to go into my firewall Let's wait till it actually does time out. Um, and I need to add a rule in my firewall to allow the web page to come through. In this particular case, the web page is running on port 80. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come oops, here and I'm going to change, I'm going to go to my firewall exceptions. I'm going to add a port. I'm going to name the port. Um, uh, Apache HTTPD the port's going to be a TCP port and it's going to be port 80 I'm going to say OK and now you see Apache HTTPD is there it's turned on when I say OK now um, I'm going to come back over to my desktop I'm going to refresh and lo and behold I can actually see my way in again so at this point in time I come back to my browser or my virtual machine. Oopsie. I don't know. Let the machine catch up with me. I come to my virtual machine. I'm going to go to my local host. And now I'm going to say, well, you know what? I'm going to put this offline again. So my server restarts. And now, when I'm over on my desktop, instead of my virtual machine and I reload, I get the same forbidden error that I had in the past. So, the re there, there's two parts to the firewall inside of this. Uh, well, one part's the firewall, one part is uh, the, uh, the WAMP server letting you put things on and offline. As we move further along, I, I will do some examples on how you can kind of set this up on a, 
a per section basis but uh, for right now that that's kind of all we really need to take a uh, take a look at so you've seen what you have to do to turn the firewall on if we want to turn the firewall off again or if you want to restrict that firewall access we can do that by simply coming in and we can either remove the uh, HTTP D uh, entry for Apache or because we, we will want to turn it on again soon we can just hit the checkbox here and say OK. Now when I go back and try to reload I'm not going to get a forbidden error anymore now I'm actually going to get a um, an error that says that I can't reach the server. So uh, you, you want to keep a little bit of an eye on the difference between being forbidden to access something and not being able to access it when it comes to firewalls. And that's true whether it's in uh, Windows or in Linux. So I'll come back over to the virtual machine one more time. I will re-enable that port on the firewall. And I go back to my forbidden error. Because I do want to be able to access this from away from there, I'm going to put my thing back online. And when I reload, everything should be working fine. Uh, so that will kind of end our discussion on firewalls and even a little bit on the online and offline mode of the WAMP server. And I'll have some more videos for you guys soon. Talk to you all later.